Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7 of Sonic Omens. Previously, with Eggman's help, Sonic and Tails managed to infiltrate the Citadel of the Lotus and Sonic made his way inside the Citadel to confront and battle against the Exile. And now the two do just that. Sonic and the Exile meet at last and now the two engage in battle. You're no different than Darko! This time is long gone. My resolve is stronger. Here we go. Sonic versus the Exiled. And the way how this fight works is that Sonic needs to max out. Going home! What a great motivation for genocide! Sonic needs to max out. It all begins with your demise. Uh-oh! You're not good! If I can explain, Jesus, Sonic needs to max out the boost gauge like that and then jump for some reason and then, yeah, um, turn into Super Sonic with the, with the special button and then just well on this dude. Rinse and repeat, but I will say right now, yeah, watch out for that exclamation point because that's going to tell you that Exiled is... Um, on the attack as well as other meta acts, which is why I think that focusing on him is beneficial and also yeah these meta acts are still a swarm and they'll they will also be a pain in the ass in this world's miserable suffering so with all this in mind but yeah but all these attacks here and this laser attack that he also does you know, this boss fight is kind of a pain, but also I would honestly prefer it if the focusing was just better. Like, that's the only thing I could think of. Because there needs to be an actual lock-on instead of just saying, here's where the boss is. Okay, like, th I need better indication than just focusing the camera where the boss is. You know, that's the same crap that Sonic 06 does with this boss is. And still, like, I honestly don't like it here. So, yeah, phase one, done. Now we move on to phase two. This world has already proven unworthy. Your friend desired to change it, but his dreams died along with him. You too will not change anything. Chris always was a dreamer, but he did change the world. Who are you to judge the world you gave up on? <laughs> All right, in phase two, all he has to do is, yeah, get the boost gauge up. All while maintaining the ring count. And this is where performance takes a massive nosedive. In fact, um, there's going to be a big one later on. But yeah, I don't know what is going on with the optimization of this game. Like, seriously, I have... Like, I'm trying my best here, people. Oh my god. Stop this madness! This isn't what Chris dreamt of! He is dead. And his dreams with him. I will say, though, that the uh, song I'm playing here has a nice ring to it. So, I like where this is going. Sonic speed. Dare I say that the music might as well just be the best experience of Go. Omens, which is, you know, true for any Sonic game, fan game or otherwise. Except Boom. <laughs> oh my god, but seriously, once again, uh... See them. The Omens of your doom. Can't stop now! They are here because of you! 
Once again, a Super 2070 RTX gaming laptop, and this is the best I can muster. I find it hard to follow. In fact, recently, my laptop kept um, shutting off at random intervals because of high temperatures. Because I keep laying the laptop down on my bedspread because, you know... I would I would lay it on the desk, but it's kind of more comfortable just being on the bed. But if I have to move it, then you know I will. Of course, I do need a tray so I can stand it up so it won't overheat ever again. Seriously, like glad I have this laptop, but at the same time, it presents its own problems. It's an electronics Max 17 for anyone that's curious. And I'm pretty sure that's a brand that no one's familiar with. Yeah, that means two of us. I just wanted a good gaming laptop, so... Here it is. Oh my god. But yeah, just keep stalling around here and just wait for the boost gauge to... To, um, fill up here. And then, finally, we can end this thing, because I have a lot of things to say about this whole game. You know, optimization aside. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not even the only one that has this issue with optimization. I've seen plenty of other people on YouTube that has same, similar optimization problems. And it sucks. Like I don't like. I'm. I'm assuming it's the Affinity engine because it is a powerful engine. But yeah, notice how yeah the audio doesn't sync up with the uh, <laughs> with the video here. That this is what it looks like when it is not optimized properly. You know, on both the game side and the user side. You know, I try my best on NVIDIA, try my best in-game, and, you know, still, I can't get that quality that I want to make this, you know, a smooth experience. Like, look at the, look at how the numbers are coming in. Like, this, no. Oh, my God, man. I really wish they would re-optimize this game. Like, aside from just revamping a lot of things, I think re-optimizing the game so that way it runs smoothly that needs to be priority for the team because there's no way that anyone can accept a game with this optimization No omen or a controller of light. <sighs> I'm just a guy that lives to the fullest with the time I have, with no regrets. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I see. Sonic the Hedgehog. I am the last of my kind. My last hope was to flee into the past as far as possible. Not to save someone, not to change something, but to see my own land for the last time at any cost. I am going back home. Little does he know that Green Gate has been reduced to ash. Seriously, like, Green Gate's dead at this point. Like, it's been dead for a long time. So, the emeralds or diamonds are gone. So he just... God, I hate 
hate this music. I will never forget you. Remember? That is not what Chip sounds like. So he just breaks it and the chaos energy just isn't no wait no because I was always told or people always said that chaos energy just ceased to exist. Also the jungle's pretty again. Alright. So did he scatter the chaos energy throughout the world and now the world just has it? No need for diamonds anymore. Oh my god, the tower. I forgot the name of it, but it's the Delta Tower. That is so weird. Hey, Eggman! I have to ask. What? Remember when you said you tried to use the emeralds to travel back in time? What did you want to change? Well, even someone like me has some regrets in life, Sonic. <clears throat> but let's leave that story for another time. Oh, Lord. So Eggman's right there. You want to, you know, finish the job? No? All right. Oh, boy. And that is Sonic Omens. Created by Orboro Studio. I have a lot of things to say. Oh my god, man. I said it once and I'll say it again. This is a Sonic game that was made out of spite. The game has a great start, but it also has terrible progression. And I mean terrible. First off, um, Child Paradise, perfect stage, okay, has minor spike um, hazards in the bottom of the water, but at least they're, that's the minority. That stage is good from beginning to end. Area 99, also a good stage, but it needs to come back on the spikes and also the laser place needs to be better, especially when Sonic needs to slide under it. Wild Ridge, uh, I like the concept of it, but I'd rather have the Star Fox structure of it. No searching for switches and no awkward plane controls. Um, escaping the Gnarl is much better, but I wish the same could be said for the boss fight, because I feel like that the boss fight could also be changed. Uh, White Jungle is not, it's also not bad. Um, really do I feel that Sonic was constrained when using boosts. I mean, there were moments where, yeah, I could see where he needs it, but um, White Jungle was not a deal breaker by any means. Tree Palace was. That whole stage needs a complete fucking overhaul. The whole thing. Okay. Hands down, one of the worst. Second worst, I would say. Um, the, what was it called? Waterfall Chase? Also um, a good stage. You know, especially when you can see where you're going, because I have seen footage of what happens when the camera gets obscured by objects, but also a good stage. Um, gun Arsenal, I want to say that it's okay, but I have seen what happens when gun robots gun down against Shadow. So, I want to say it's good, but, don't, you know, proceed with caution. Uh, Moldy Jungle was alright. Um, it was alright, except for that one part with the surprise drop. With the three ten rings. That, that nah. I think that's the nasty part of it. 
Uh, United Railroads has a spike fetish. I wish it didn't. It's the most aesthetically pleasing stage out of the whole game. Um... Citadel of the Lotus, I want to say it's both good and bad because of all of the um, jumps that something has to do. The diving needs to be fixed. The electricity is the biggest hazard of the whole thing. And Weeping Rift can go fuck off. So yeah, because of the chaos energy being scattered, there's no need for the Master Mode. So what about Tikal and Chaos? Because aren't they in that thing? Like, it's so ridiculous. And then I can see the plant growing. Cosmos plant growing, so... Yeah, there's that, and... Tickets to Eggman's Interstellar Amusement Park? I have... I honestly couldn't tell you. Goodbye, old friend. That is, if you're not going to hog him and claim to be his friend. Like you did in the ending of Season 2. And with that, Sonic Omens has drawn to a close. So please stay tuned for next time as I read the infamous Google document and I share my input on everything that it provides. So until then, look forward to it.